everyone, we are the Gummy Bears, the FLL team number 44355. In this video, our team will try to decode the secrets behind the Masterpiece robot game field and analyze all the robot missions for the new season. We want to share our thoughts with you so you can plan your coding and building experiences before the season starts. Hope it helps! We used a few online resources for our analysis, including the season teaser by FIRST, YouTube analysis from three robotics teams, as well as pictures shared in the Facebook groups. Based on the teaser video and what we observed in the World Festival show, we categorized the Masterpiece missions into 13 major tasks. The Dragon and Masterpiece show are on the left side of the game mat, and the 3D Studio, Blue Flower, and Concert missions are close to the north walls. We have Digital Print and the Chicken mission close to the right home area, while the Mixer mission is nearby the left home area. The Bow and Roller Coaster are next to the south walls, and the Spinning Tower is in the center of the game field. You'll also need to collect the looped units and deliver them to targeted locations. The minifigures need to be sent close to the concert stage, and your innovation project should be placed on top of the pedestal structure. We want to highlight one major change of this year's game mat. In the colorful masterpiece game mat, we did not find a typical long, straight white or black signature line that we used to seeing on the previous year's game mats. This type of signature line were very important in the past seasons, as we know that the robot always does not turn or go straight as exactly as it should. The signature lines are good reference points to adjust your robot for accuracy. You can do this by either using line following, line squaring for repositioning, or using it as a geometry reference to readjust your robot's navigation angle. This change will make the navigation very challenging, particularly for the ones that need complex navigations to reach, such as the 3D Studio and Blue Flower missions. We also noticed that there are a few short light colored line segments on the game mat, and you might be able to try live squaring with reflection mode on this, or train your robot to get used to the color patterns on the mat. You can also use jigs to do mission model alignments for better accuracy as well. That's the topic we are going to explore in the new season, so stay tuned on this. We also want to point out that there are still two T-shaped signature lines next to the magic show and concert missions, so you can still use them as reference lines to reposition the robot. In the World Festival show, we noticed a couple things about the left home area. One, there are four pieces of masterpiece logos which could be used in the digital print mission. Two, there is one looped unit and one pedestal structure which could be transported to the right home area and used as the innovation project. Three, there are seven mini figures which we believe are the audience to the concert stage. They might have to be placed in front of the stage. However, in the teaser, the left home area has no masterpiece logos or the potential innovation project. We're curious on what that means. For the right home area, the World Festival gives six bonus tokens, four masterpiece pins, and four masterpiece logos for the digital print logos. While in the teaser, we can barely see one pedestal structure, innovation project, and one looped unit there. This indicates that you might have some freedom to select the locations for these mission pieces before the game. Regarding the innovation project, we thought it could be something related to the pedestal structure with orange top. From the picture taken at World Festival, this orange pedestal structure was originally located in the left home area, and in the teaser it was moved to the right home area. This indicates that one of the missions is to move the structure from one side of the home area to another side, and there's also a model that can fit on top of it, which can be the innovation project for this year. I think it's pretty cool because it's colorful instead of plain white, like that in previous years. This is also a pretty simple mission. You just have to design an innovation model to fit on top of the structure and need something to transport the structure along with the robot from one home to another side. And as it is relatively small, you may just transport it over on top of the robot. This is the dragon mission. Our guess is that the dragon head will need to be released to score points. This can be solved by pushing on the orange bar or pulling on the dragon's head. 
out of 5, the difficulty level is probably a 2.5 because pushing the orange bar may have some difficulty to it. Some mechanisms that we suggest to complete the mission are a long beam, a grabber to grab the head, and a rigged arm. For navigation, since the mission metal is next to the home, the robot can simply move straight to get closer to the dragon and then push down the orange bar. Some other observations that we made are the orange bars are in the back and not in the front. Is there a reason as to why that is? The magic show is one of my favorite missions. For this mission, you most likely have to rotate the stage so that the people face a certain direction to score points. We believe that the stage is powered by a slider crank mechanism and the robot will have to push down on the orange bar to rotate the stage. Some of the figures might need multiple rotations in order to have them face in the correct direction, which will be a bit challenging and takes more time. You could use a simple wedge or lift arm to push down the orange bar to accomplish the mission. Since there are looped units nearby, you could complete both missions together with a multi-mission attachment. This year's Mission 3, 3D Studio, requires a robot to inactivate a lever to push down the stage and lift up the sidewalls. This could be a shared mission where you would get bonus points if both teams completed it. As we can see in the picture, there's an orange hook that presumably needs to be pushed down to complete the mission. Surrounding it, there are no extra units or people, so the mission should be quite simple to complete. By just using a simple lever or lift arm activated by the robot's motor, it could be completed fairly straightforward. However, aligning the mission model would be the hardest part of the mission, as there are no lines or straight missions close to it. The navigation to reach the mission would need to be precise and robust. Possibly, the robot could do a wall line before completing the mission to ensure more consistent results. This year's Mission 4, the Blue Flower, also has an orange activator for the robot to pull. It is located on the left side of the mission model and bends inwards and needs to be pulled outwards to open up the flower, presumably on its side. It seems like there are many gears connected to the flower to the mission model, so to gain more points, you would likely need to spin the flower once or even multiple times, and the flower petals would open up on the figure. Behind the mission model, there is also a red minifigure, which could be part of the mission or the robot game, where you might need to collect it and send it somewhere to score more points. Navigation and positioning the robot towards the mission model would also be a challenge. However, there are black and white lines slightly aligned with the mission model, which could be used for reference, for example line squaring, when approaching the flower model. By using a sort of hook attachment, it could reach behind the activator and pull it back, completing the mission. Or the robot could go from the left side and push the activator out with an arm. The concert mission seems a bit complicated. In order to set up the concert and score, it seems that the singer on stage and the two speakers on the sides of the stage need to be facing towards the audience in front, and the stage light on top of the frame needs to be turned downwards to light up the stage. The mechanism to move the singer is simple. You can just push the front orange beam with the robot itself. However, the most challenging part is that the other trigger to rotate the speaker is placed bottom left and must be lifted up. And the one for the stage light on the top right and needs to be lowered down. This can be solved by using an attachment that reaches high enough to complete this mission. Some attachments you can use are beams that move up and down through the use of the medium motor and a flat base on the front of the robot. This mission can either be completed by doing each of the parts one at a different time or all at once with a multi-mission attachment. However, doing each part one at a time will be very time consuming. Precise alignment will be needed to be able to complete all three missions at once. Digital print is another mission that might need your attention. The mission requirement is likely going to be that you must take the four t-shirt logos from the home area and place them in the t-shirt machine. Then you need to flip over the cover and push the orange beam on the right to close the machine. It seems that the most challenging part is getting the t-shirt logos inside the machine. There seems to be not enough space in the machine and it might be hard to make the logos fit perfectly inside. 
You could try to use a dumper to dump the t-shirts inside or slide them in. You have to get them to lie flat though. Then you can use a rack and pinion to push the machine closed. And then you can push the bin closed as well. You can also passively push them with the robot. One thing that I observed is that there appears to be four t-shirts in the home area and only three in the machine in the video. Because of this, I'm not sure about whether you have to transport the t-shirt from the base, but it is very likely. The machine is also very close to the home area, so you don't need complex navigation. For the rowing boat mission, I think that it may require you to pull the orange circle so that the boat can be dragged to the white block. From the teaser, the boat wobbles when it travels, so you have to pull it harder since there will be a lot of resistance. To solve this mission, you could use a hook to grab the orange circle from the left side, but grabbing the circle could be difficult because it's pretty small and can be easy to miss. One idea is to use multiple hooks to have a higher chance to capture it. The white block should be fixed on a mat and it helps the boat stay in a straight line. You could also push the boat with the robot back to the white block. I'm not sure if this would still count, but it's worth a try. For the roller coaster mission, the teaser indicates that you need to push the roller coaster down the track. To do this, I think you have to push down the lever to unlock the train. This can be done by a lift arm mechanism. After it activates, the boat will be released by a strong push from the activator and the roller coaster will move up. In case it cannot reach the top of the rail, you might need to use a beam structure to push it up. The train will then slide down from the top of the rail. Further down the track, there is an orange stopper to block the train. You might be able to push the stopper down so that the train can go further. You can also use a lift arm powered by a motor to push down the stopper so the train can continue. If you don't move the stopper, the train will rebound after hitting the barrier, which makes the mission difficult. For the spinning tower mission, what we observed in the World Festival shows that the mission model is really tall, probably more than 12 inches. The widely circulated rotating actuator theory seems highly unlikely to be true, as the ends do not seem to be easily turnable by the robot. One guess is that the mechanism is operated by pushing the white lever, similar to the step counter from Replay. However, movement seems to be restricted on both sides of the lever, so its range of movement is probably very small. The two black axles on either side of the gray, twisted piece seem to be stationary while the tower is spinning, ruling them out of a roll in the mechanism, so the white lever theory is also mostly disproven. The gray axle behind the white J-beam is slightly open to the outside, so it seems like that may cause the model's spinning motion or affect it in some way. Because there is a dial piece in the black wheels, and it points to the colored point section, it will probably indicate the points earned from the mission. An alternative and highly probable idea is that the robot will need to lift up the orange pieces to complete the mission. A close zoom of the mechanism suggests that the black posts are used as support for the black wheels to slide up and down, and there is a special screw socket piece that can be responsible for the rotation of the tower as the black wheel piece moves up. In this case, white V-beam could be some sort of one-way locking mechanism, but it's hard to be sure at this point with limited running footage. In case of pushing the white axle, that seems to be able to be done with a simple passive attachment or without any attachment at all. The orange axles need to be pushed up in a rack and pinion positioned vertically or an arm would be able to complete the mission. In terms of navigation, it will be straightforward to navigate from home to the center of the map, but a jig alignment strategy can be useful to increase accuracy when targeting this mission, as the new line system will definitely throw no vice teams off. For the Mixer mission, pictures taken of these models have been slightly misleading. The linkages do not appear to move in these two pictures. However, in the video, a wire can be seen quickly tightening and releasing. The blue lever flicks up before quickly assuming its resting position, so the black lever theory is most likely to be true. Black piece on the rear blue beam may further indicate that a lever may be offered to help alleviate the difficulty of this task. Either way, the most efficient way to accomplish this mission is most likely to use a lever or rack and pinion, though the linkages may make use of a rack and pinion slightly harder than the lever, as it is harder for rack and pinion systems to shift moving targets such as the blue lever. Alternatively, a quick flicker could be employed as in the video, 
the wire was given a quick tug to trigger the mission model. One possible idea for a lever is to have one motor power two or three levers. Two of the levers, or one if they are conjoined, will push up the mixer keys that, that appear to have been shifted lower, and the last one will be used to push the middle key to its maximum height. This mission's navigation should be a breeze, as it is conveniently located right next to the left home area. However, using the lever provided, the robot will have to move around to the studio, but it can use a quick flick from the side of the robot to quickly score the points for this mission while completing the other tasks in the area. There are five looped units scattered around the game field, with one at home. This is probably the delivery element of the Masterpiece game field, which means that they need to be collected from different regions of the map by your robot, then delivered to different sections in the map to gain points. Notice how there are six symbols on the map, circled in red. We think that the looped units may need to be delivered to these areas to gain points. So this mission is not very difficult. The looped units this year have solid hard loops instead of soft rubber ones like used in previous seasons, which make them easier to pick up and deliver. A simple hook can be used to pick up and deliver these units. However, you need to plan your navigation strategy smartly in order to efficiently deliver and pick up these units from around the game field. There are seven minifigures that have been displayed in the home area for both the teaser and World Festival show. In the teaser video, we saw a crowd of orange people gathered around the stage. We suspect that we may also need to transfer all these people in, in front of the stage for scoring. This could be done with the help of a cart or dumper. Thank you for watching today, and we hope this video will help you in the future season. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so you can see our future analysis.